Hey everyone, Lauding Collector here, and today we have a caster 100 watt mercury vapor bulb in clear. So I got this in one of the floodlights I bought eh, about a year ago, probably now. I have two of these lamps that are of different age. Caster's not really a great brand. However, this is an older one from like 2002 or something, so the arc tube is actually the size it's supposed to be. It's a little skinny, but it's actually long enough, so this is a better quality version of these. The ones they sell now are absolute trash. So I don't like, actually it's 2005, but that's still, you know, not too bad. So it's of course ED17, it does have a little bump on it, as opposed to my eye lamp, which does not. So yeah, both of my, both of these bulbs that I have are about the same age. Nothing fancy on the sleeve, really, it's just kind of there. It's, it's an OEM thing, so it's not like, you know, they're happy about it or proud. But, it's clear so it's still cool how dare you focus thyself all right so we'll go ahead and fire this up Yeah, this fixture likes to be noisy all of a sudden. So this is one of three of my 100 watt clear lamps. Don't have a lot of them, <laughs> unfortunately for me. I'm gonna build some uh, testing ballast boxes, I guess, so that I can test lamps of all shapes and sizes, um, you know, of each wattage, but that's definitely not going to happen anytime in the recent, you know, next few months, because can't afford that right now, but I'll start building onto that idea pretty soon, because I don't want to just have to rely on fixtures test lamps because I might not always have fixtures just lying around easy to access. My plan is to install most if not all of my HID stuff somewhere, hopefully. So I would like to have a ballast set up so I can still test lamps and make videos of them and so forth. Like reflector bulbs and all that kind of stuff because I have some 175 watt and maybe even 100 watt reflector lamps I want, plus the 50 watt ones I have to test. So this is only a temporary setup here where I'm filming them inside a fixture, but it'll do for now. we pretty much reached full brightness here so what I'm going to do is zoom in on the arc tube you can see those electrodes come 
Come on, focus, focus, focus. Don't do this to me. Focus. It's good enough. No. As good as I'm gonna get. All right, you get to see the afterglow. Oh, those electrodes. <laughs> and there they go. I know mean, it's not the best focus, but whatever. So I've never actually used this bulb or the other caster lamp in an actual installation as I got these after pretty much after I had removed um, the scoop fixture from my backyard I do miss having a mercury vapor fixture out there but um, I'm just I took down a lot of things in preparation of either moving out or us moving and selling the house and I was correct on one of those fronts because we are going to be doing the ladder pretty soon. So I don't want to sell the house, you know, with my stuff still put up. That's not cool. <laughs> so, I took it down in preparation for that. I think in like, meh. I don't even remember, like maybe February or something. And yeah. Maybe earlier, I don't remember. But yeah, so that's that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.